Welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. We are on our way to the Imperial Waterfront to check out the merchants there. You sell clothes. No thank you. Yeah, I've been after a conjuration spell that's useful to me. Uh, currently all I have is Bound Dagger. Is that a nice potion, sir? If you're interested, I can recharge your ma magical items for a small fee. I promise I'll take good care of your equipment. All your charging needs for a very small charge. I oh, see so you're not any uh, cheaper. Tell me more. I wonder if I can make it cheaper. By That's flirting with not, you. I act not bad. Not bad at all. Magic items are no good without no. a charge. Okay, thanks anyway. Bye-bye now. Too. Yeah, bye-bye. Why do you bother me? Go away. Fine. Sheep's milk. Huh. Fine, I'll go. Are you, uh... <laughs> you. Hi. <laughs> you okay there? What was I saying? Oh yes, I'm after a conjuration spell that isn't bound dagger um, for use in combat. Bound dagger itself isn't actually not useful, but I do have better weapons that don't require me to use magic to get hold of. But I would like something to. Like oh well, how nice of you to say. What is it? Uh, nothing, thank you. The Emporium of Waterfront Traders. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Do you work here? Your, well is, your, met, is your robe enchanted? Must you persist in bothering me with your petty questions? Um, I don't really have you any. Too. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, hi. Are you working in the shop? What's what this here? You? I get paid to keep this place nice and tidy, right? You start any trouble, or you or you start snooping where you don't belong, and you'll be answering to me and my sharp metal friend here. Understand? Sure. Be seeing. Oh, I see you carrying a sword, right? Oh, I'm behind the counter. Probably shouldn't do that. What is it, associate? Oh, you're at Major's Guild, are you? Huh. I'm listening. Please go ahead. Mad Hetty. Sugar and sand. Hurry up before I change my mind. About what? Heard. Huh. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Farewell. Greetings, Orc. Wisp stocks. Oh, Hurry up before oh, I change hello. my mind. Is Why is everyone so grumpy? Ah, get leave me alone. Ah, the waterfront. That's weird, I can see through the water at an angle. Oh, what do these do? Sacred Lotus, I have a feeling they're poisonous. Sacred Lotus, yeah, damage health. That's not exactly a bad thing though, so I'm just going to uh, risk looking a bit weird and paddle around collecting these things. We all know a good poison comes in very useful in combat situation. Ah. Ah. Crying out loud, now I'm soaking. That's an impressive looking boat. One would guess it's come from the Somerset Isles. I'm going to drop a quick save. I did, can't exactly get on very well there, can you? And just in case I get shouted at for being on here. Oh. Haha! <laughs> cool. Needs a key. Hello, friend. Salutations to you. My name is Silfa Gutz de Loon. What? And I am your. I am an Alpha Crusader from the Isle of Arteum on a mission here in your lovely country, did that say? What kind of mission are you on? We are here under the direction of the Sigic Order to explore the ancient alien ruins found here in the province of Cyrodiil. That's uh, pretty cool. 
They believe there may be powerful artifacts hidden deep below the earth that may advance our collective knowledge of the ancient race. I believe so too. We believe this further knowledge may benefit the lives of many, not only in the region of Somerset, but of, uh, of that of all Tamriel. Well, good luck to you. Thank you greatly, and good luck to you also in your future endeavours. What a very polite conversation that was. I expected to get yelled at for being on the boat. It needs a key to get on the boat. I, I... That looks a shady looking boat over there, doesn't it? I wonder if that's part of a, a quest we can do or something. Nern root. What? Twice? Okay. You have my ear, citizen. Right, thank you. How do you like my bound dagger? Yeah, I'm trying to find a better one than that. I promise I'll come back with something slightly more impressive. I, w I always thought that the summoned scamp was a novice spell, and maybe it was before Oscuro's overhaul got its teeth into it, but, uh... Door to the lighthouse, eh? It's dark in here. Imperial Watch Barracks. Oh! Hello. It's very... Where's my... Huh. Neat. Guide to Skingrad biography of Baron Zaya. Yeah, Baron Zaya, I read that right. Um, okay. Nothing really of note in there. Still. Hello, friends. I did I did think there was a shop along here oh here we go yeah I thought I'd seen one learned warlock probably staff away I don't think there's any reason for uh, for having that on me nope something fell on the floor my goodness what on earth This is a fancy looking place you've got. What the heck is that? Let's hear it. Yeah, just sorry, one second, I'm gonna sales records. I'm just a little bit in awe, actually. What? What? What are you looking at? What? What are you looking at? I, I'm not looking at anything, I, I just... You're looking at my hat, aren't you? What? No, no, I was... I was. You think it's stupid, don't you? No, it, it, it's great, honestly. It's a lovely hat. Absolutely lovely. You don't think that? You're lying. I know it. Don't lie to me. I really think it's a nice hat. It's, it's fine. You're wearing a hat. Big deal. Who cares? I don't believe you, but I'll let you off just this once. Don't let me see you staring at my head again, or I'll turn you into a horker. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you sell? Let's do business. Samane's staff. That's your staff. Damage, health, 30 points in 15 feet on target. It's expensive. Very expensive. Staff of banishment. These are some cool staffs. Staves. Staff of Unholy Terror. Demoralize and turn undead. Fire damage weakness to fire and light. So what, you set them on fire. Weakness to disease, weakness to fire, weakness to frost, weakness to poison, weakness to shock. Drain strength, drain speed, and burden. 
drain every stat for 20 seconds. Reflect damage of 45 blunt, that's cool. Resist all elements, that's also cool. Frost ring, resist frost and weakness to fire. Haha, <laughs> clever! This is some nice stuff you have here, Samane. Ring of War. Oh, <laughs> I can buy your hat. See, I may buy your hat. What's the difference between A and T? Um, that might be to do with the equipment An slot takes up. So I'm going to take them both. Sorcerer's Ring, Spell Absorption. That would be useful if it wasn't 65,000 gold. Resist Shock. Oh, Master Alchemy things. Is there anything I can sell to you? Oh yeah, this sword I found. Which is actually really cool. I'm going to check it out in a minute actually before I sell it. I could tell you that I suppose, but... Um... Yeah, I don't really have anything valuable worth selling. Ooh, Barba Stone. <laughs> Still wouldn't get me enough to get what I want off you. I don't need this while I'm carrying this. Um, right, anyway. Um, do you have alchemy ingredients as well? You do! Wonderful, wonderful indeed. I will purchase Pleasure alchemy doing ingredients. Business. That's a good deal. In fact, if I purchase everything... Except of really expensive things here. And make as many potions as I can. Sell them back to you. I wonder if I'd be able to afford something. Because you have some excellent ingredients here. Oh my goodness, excellent indeed. So anything under 10 gold, I'm buying all of it. This may take a while. I will see you all in just a moment. Alright, so I bought everything that's under 10 gold. Um, 10 gold per item. And I managed to spend an astonishing amount of gold on that. Uh, so, I'm just going to have a quick check, make sure there's nothing extra useful. In fact, I can always check that afterwards. Yeah, I'm going to uh, mix it together. Thank you. Come again. I'm sure I will. Thank you for uh, all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to... Is there a place I can sit here? Can I just borrow your table for a moment? Is, would you mind? What? what? Is that... Is that a very small person asleep on this bed here? Anyway, um, I'm just going to do a bit of alchemy in your shop. I'm sure you won't mind it. The place is a bit mad. And uh, again, I will see you all very soon. What do you want now? Come to make fun of my beard this time? Nope. Have Come to around. sell you things after you an astonishing amount of alchemy. An astonishing amount of alchemy. Um, I've made... A lot of potions now. Uh, oh, my, my skill increased there. Good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make my money back, but I have made a lot of potions. There was a lot of things in there that were great for restore health and restore magic as well. So I'm not going to be selling back An excellent the bargain. total sum of the ingredients I used, bargain. but nonetheless, there should still be a decent amount. You drive. Okay, so I've sold the potions that we made, and I actually turned a profit, so... And with that, I, I can afford... Where is it? The... Um, either Alembic or Calcinator, so... Now... What's, what's that a measure of? Um, now, not knowing which one of those will affect the potion in which way... I'm going to have to take a guess and just go with any. Uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do is see what I have the best one of. And it turns out I have Apprentice in both. So I'm going to go with Alembic. 
because it's heavier and in my mind that means better you bought that for a song i do believe i did not buy it for a song you absolute liar but i now have a master alembic that's a good deal and it's cost me a lot of gold but i feel like it Come might be worth it see me again yeah i'm sure i will thank you goodbye goodbye is there something on the... Oh, I can't interact with it anyway. Um, what's this? The Wild Elves and an altar. A rather impressive... I want to say dragon, but it, it, it's it's closer to a snake with wings. Uh, oh, tiny little staves that I guess would count as wands, right? An interesting selection of potions... A master retort and a master calcinator. Were I more, um, what's the word, dishonest, I may have made an attempt on these. But I am not, so uh, I am going to disturb this, this tiny sleeping person because I'm intrigued. My goodness, you really are small. Salutations to you. How can I serve you on this fine day? You are very small. You work here? I do, along with my husband, Sarmain. We run this small magical emporium out here on the waterfront. Very nice. We sell all chemical ingredients and apparatus, magical robes and staves, and a wide variety of spells. You sell spells, but I've just spent all my money. Although I must apologise for my husband's mood. He's gotten a little grumpy in his old age. Ah, he's harmless. Oh, he's your husband? That's right. Why do you look so surprised? Probably because you're a child. Young? Bless you, child. You've made my day. But I'm not young. I'm 87 years old. Oh, okay. Then you're obviously a vampire. How is that possible? A few years ago, I came up with a brilliant use tonic that worked wonders. It took nearly 60 years off my face. The only problem was I drank the whole bottle and all my notes were destroyed in the fire. In a fire, not the fire. Okay. So, I'm sorry to say I can't offer you some, but uh, I must say, you don't exactly look like you need it. Oh, how very nice of you to say. Uh, but you you can't sell me anything right now. Yeah, bye-bye. Um, you said you sell spells. Have I, have I not noticed? <sighs> Shut up. Uh, you don't sell spells. You lied to me. You too. Yes, me too. What? Yeah. Maybe I have to come back again at a different time. What the? Okay, why is it pitch black here? The void. Huh. Nice low resolution wall you have there. Well, shame about not finding a conjuration spell, but what an interesting shop bookshelf that I can interact with. How cool. Apparently you open it like a drawer. The wild elves. Huh. Is that a... Is this a spell making altar? Does the mages guild know you have... You're probably not bothered are you? I wonder what that says. I wonder if anybody can translate those Daedric runes for me. The. I believe that's the at the start. Um. I think that might that might say ones. That's very interesting. I'll have to come back to that. Perhaps I'll find something to translate the uh, Daedric with. Absorb fatigue. Well, if your homunculus wife were able to sell me spells, I'd be uh, happy to browse through the selection. But anyway, thank you for the experience, I guess. Float to float. 
I plan on getting a boat back to Brazil. Um, so maybe I could stay on the waterfront for the night. I've killed far worse than you. I'm sure you have. Uh, who is the proprietor here? What can I do for you? Well you? met. Welcome to the bloated float. She's the finest inn on the water in all Cyrodiil. I would wager that she's the only inn on the water in all of Cyrodiil. But can um, I interest you in some of my wares? Is there anything I could make to test my new equipment that's not restore fatigue? Um. Never mind. Thank you it, it, for your patronage. Yeah, uh, I'd like to get a room, please. There's a room, all right, and a fine room it is. Yours for the night for only ten gold. Can't argue with that. I'll take it. A wise choice indeed. You've never had a night's rest like this, I assure you. The room is down below deck. It's the door on the left. Thank you. Farewell. Down below deck. The room on the left. Huh. Well. Isn't this, uh... Um... Small. Well, it was ten gold. Can't really argue with that. I am going to drink a potion. Because... Uh, one that doesn't have a shield property, if possible. Because I'm low on magicka. Um, and I'm going to cast this again as well, as a slight bit of practice towards conjuration. Is it going up very fast? 63% from just a few casts of that, so yeah. Yeah, it is increasing. Um, anyway, time for... Oh, still early. Oh, that's right, I wanted to look at something. Um, the Amulet of Kings. In the first years of the First Era, a powerful race of elves called the Aeliads, or the Heartland High Elves, ruled central Tamriel with an iron hand. The high and haughty uh, Aeliads re relied on their patrons, the treacherous Daedra Lords, to provide armies of Daedra and dead spirits. With these fearless magical armies, the aliens preyed without mercy upon the young races of men, slaughtering or enslaving them at their whim. On behalf of the suffering human races, Saint Alicia, Alessia, what? Um, the first in the line of Cyrodiils sought the aid of Akatosh, the dragon god of time and ruler of the noble Aedra. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart and blessed Saint Alessia with the blood of the dragons, and made a covenant that so long as Alessia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavour to seal tight the gates of oblivion, and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies, uh, the Daedra-loving Aeliads. In token of this covenant, Akatosh gave to Alessia and her descendants the Amulet of Kings and the eternal dragonfires of the Imperial City. Thus does Alessia become the first gem in the Cyrodiilic Amulet of Kings. The gem is the red diamond in the middle of the amulet. This is the symbol of the Empire and later taken as the symbol of the Septim Line. It is surrounded by eight other gems, one for each of the Divines. So long as the Empire shall maintain its worship of Akatosh and his kin, and so long as Alessia's heirs shall all uh, shall bear the Amulet of Kings, Akatosh and his divine kin maintain a strong barrier between Tamriel and Oblivion, so that mortal men need never again fear the devastating summoned hosts of the Daedra Lords. But if the Empire should slacken in its dedication to the Nine Divines, or if the blood of Alessia's heirs should fall, or fail, sorry, then shall the barriers between Tamriel and the Daedric realms fall, and the Daedra worshippers might summon lesser Daedra and undead spirits to trouble the races of men. Well, it's all well and good. 
but how can I know if it's real? Because the truth is I can't know if it's real. I suppose if I was desperate to find out I could take it to Geoffrey if I'm not mistaken is his name. Um, but then let's just wait that, that passed an hour reading that book Joffrey Joffrey, Joffrey, Joffrey Wayne and Priory near the city of Coral somewhere around here Well, I do have to go there for the Mages Guild anyway. So if I make it my last recommendation, then I can follow up on that. Perhaps. Or maybe I won't, who knows. Who knows if it's worth doing or not. But, uh, still. Nice to have a bit of background on this uh, oddity. Well, no time like the present. Hello. Can't see a thing. Wish there was uh, windows in here. Hello, sir. Hey, who in oblivion are you? You don't look like one of the Blackwater brigands. Excuse me? I'm just a passenger, or well, you say passenger, I'm a, a, a guest. It's none of your business who I am. Intruders are my business. I think instead of locking you in the storage room with a bouncer, I'm going to dump your body overboard. Excuse me? What? What on earth? Yeah! What the heck? Why would you attack me? Lynch's instructions. What? 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 What is happening? Lynch's instructions. Lynch, your instructions are to make your way to the bottom deck of the ship and secure all of the rooms there. Make sure you don't disturb Minx. She is to be left alone to her assignment. Remember, after the ship is scuttled, we'll meet back in Breville in three days. Make sure you destroy this note after you memorize it. S. S? Is that an S? <sighs> yeah, it is an S. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Has this boat been uh, commandeered? That's the, obviously not the key to there. Storage room. About time someone showed up. Hello. Thank you for freeing me. I'm Graman Gromarad, the bloated floats bouncer and helmsman. I've been locked in that storage room for hours. What the heck has I happened? I don't know exactly what's going on. But not long ago, a gang of thieves, calling themselves the Blackwater Brigands, stormed the ship. They took myself and Ormel, the float's owner, hostage, and put the ship to sea. I have no idea what they're after. If you can get me safely to the top deck, I can steer the float home. But I'm not budging until the coast is clear. Of course you're not. dealing with drunken louts, not a gang of well-armed thieves. Well, can I change your mind? There's a... Good luck. You'll need it. There's a, a sword on the floor there, some armor that probably fit you. Um, this, this isn't my stuff. I shouldn't really be rooting through it. Right, so there's a gang of thieves and... And I have to deal with it. Me, the guest here, has to deal with it. Why couldn't I have just gone to stay at the Merchant's Inn? 